Hey guys, Jess here. I'm back with another layout share. And this is a two part layout share because um, the first part, I wanna share with you all the layouts that I created with my DIY mega kit, which the link to that video is below. I showed you how I put a kit together. And now I'm gonna show you the results um, of the layouts, I should say, that I created with that kit. So that's the first part. And the second part is all the other layouts that I created over the past few months. So let's start with this kit. So here's the stack of layouts I created. I can't wait to share them with you. But first I wanna show you what I have left. <laughs> so as you can see, I still have product here left in my kit. However, I did work through quite a bit. Um, I still have quite a bit of thickers, paper, I only have a couple of sheets left. The rest is kind of some scraps uh, or partial pieces. So basically, um, I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of digging around and trying to pull layouts together with the supplies that's in this kit. And to me, that essentially is saying, all right, it's time to separate and destash this kit and file it away with all my other organization methods. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but I have gotten a ton of layouts done. So this is this is what's left in uh, my Totally Tiffany kit organizer. And then this was the embellishment um, tray for Maggie Holmes. So I still have quite a few pieces, but I got through a lot. Uh, I still have quite a bit left, but I also got through a lot. So what will end up happening is I will probably put these into my DIY, listen to me, not my DIY. <laughs> I will put these into my um, binder systems now um, because it's gotten to the point where I just need to look at these. Um, I don't want to rifle through them anymore. So I really just need to look at these um, by flipping through the binder. So that's kind of the point I'm at. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty psyched with how much I got through. I know it's still like it. I know it still looks like there's a lot left here, but based on where I started with, uh, there's there's not much left. <laughs> so and you'll see um, as I share with you the layouts. Um, it's I feel like it did pretty good. So this will be a project for later in the week to get this all separated out and destashed. But again, I just wanted to share with you what I had left of this kit. So, now let's go to the layouts. Alright, so this first layout is monochromatic, black and white. I use a mixture of uh, fonts, some thickers and stickers, and just a lot of the black and white floral pieces. I love the impact of this layout. I think it came out so good and captured that sweet moment on my husband and his daughter on our wedding day so beautifully. I love, love, love it. Oh, this one is for an upcoming project. So I don't have the photo yet, but I just did some paper tearing and some stickers in the background, a cute little embellishment. And that's all I've done with this layout. I don't know if I'm gonna add more later, but I was so thrilled that I was able to get a lot of those stickers in there. And I love that torn paper, like peekaboo look. So I thought it came out pretty cute. This one, um, I didn't really have a plan. I had so many um, cut aparts and tags and just ephemera pieces all together that I just thought I would just start gluing them down on a piece of cardstock and see where it took me. And this is where I landed. So I have just a collage of ephemera pieces that make my background paper here. And then I took some photo, black and white photos because I wanted them to stand out from the, the background. Uh, printed them off and then put them in some frames. And I actually think this came out so cute. I didn't know what the end result was going to be, but I really love it. And it was a great way to use up a lot of that ephemera. So I'm so pleased. This is an experiment and I think it's a, it's a good result in the end. All right. I love this one. Again, a lot of ephemera pieces. I also used 
a DIY embellishment I created, um, some frames, and just some random bits and pieces from the collection. Love the colors. I think it documented my childhood photo quite nicely, so super cute. Here's one that I really love as well, another DIY embellishment here. Um, and I did some torn paper to kind of give that wave feel. Um, and again, just some chipboard pieces um, and some stickers and just a little bit of everything. And I think this came out so cute. Love it, love it, love it. This one I had a ton of fun with. So this is um, an, like an ombre mixed media background paper that I included in the kit. And then I literally just layered a bunch of florals on the side here and over in the corner framing um, this pretty photo of my grandmother who was 84 this year um, and I just think it came out so beautiful with the hints of gold in there oh I just love it love it love it love it this is a super fun one and I was so excited to use acetate and one of those braided rainbows that I had in the kit um, and I combined these bright colors with some black and white pieces, which came out so cute. We got a little fabric banner in there. And I, you know, I love that I got the little bee in there. So it's like, Be Happy is the title. And I just think this came out so adorable and fun and whimsical. And I used that rainbow background paper, which was a challenge for me. So I think it came out so cute. All right, here's another fun one. Lots of bright colors in this kit. Um, so I just took strips of paper, cut them up and staggered them uh, in a line across the page, a little bit of mixed media. And then I plopped some, a couple of photos of my stepdaughter in this, these cute little frames, which I absolutely love these frames. They are so fun to play with. And then I got some butterflies on here. And yeah, this came out really cute. Again, fun colors, bright colorful, but it all works together. And I find, oh, I have an embellishment that popped out here. Let's stick that back in there somewhere. All right. Um, I probably ought to glue some of these down. I love this layout. I think it is so sweet. So I took um, some pattern paper, cut up some triangles, mixed it all together and then literally oh goodness I have these I gotta glue these down too <sighs> sorry about that guys I just noticed um, I will be gluing those down later those thickers you never know alright now let's see here let's try this again <laughs> so I love this layout um, It. I took some paper cut some triangles out of it kind of the more masculine colors and then literally just sprinkled embellishments all throughout did some layering a little mixed media um, this card had a saying on it so I just cut it up it says the way you shine is wonderful and magical and so very bright and I just think this photo of myself is so sweet so I think it just all came together really nicely all right. This is one of my more recent ones. Um, I had this numbered specialty paper in the Sunny Days collection forever, and I just did not know what to do with it. I had cut a couple of squares out of it, but generally speaking, I had the whole piece of paper left. And so my husband had a memory come up on Facebook of my stepdaughter, her first day of kindergarten. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's the photo, because I've been having an idea of kind of cutting up these blocks and kind of making numbers and I was trying to figure out what photo to document and I was like this one is perfect the colors just everything about it the bow matches her little skirt I have another DIY embellishment in there and I just clustered some things up just really a little little bit of everything in this layout but I think it came out so cute so so cute so yeah um Again, the background's a little bit different for me. It's essentially kind of the same as the paper came, but because um, originally I had like one of the corners cut out, I had to cut everything apart and replace it in here. But I think it came out really cute, and all the numbers, you know, correlate with school, and 
And yeah, I just, I really actually am very pleased with how this turned out. This is another one I love. I love, love, love this layout. So it's more florals. Um, and I took just a plain cardstock piece and then one of those watercolor papers that I had included in the kit and did half a page triangle and then literally did floral across where the papers join and these adorable school pictures of my stepdaughter going into sixth grade. And again, I had some stickers that I got to use, which have been sitting in my stash for a while. I love it. I love how this came out. So bright and colorful and fun. And this was kind of a girly kit, so I, I was able to do a lot of scrapbooking of my stepdaughter, which was really nice. I'm able to catch up on her album. This one's super fun too. It is your uh, standard grid design. So I did, um, I had these little packs of two by two um, paper squares from the Paige Evans, I think Whimsical collection, if I remember correctly. So I just laid those all out on the background. And then I literally just found some embellishments to place here, there, and everywhere. Um, on the page, I was able to use another little DIY embellishment, a little flag, some little gem hearts, this glitter love you, which I've had forever. I don't even know how long I've had it, but I've hung on to it. I've hung on to it. And glitter's not usually my thing, but for whatever reason, I've hung on to this one and I finally was able to use it and I was so excited. So I love the photo and I love how this page turned out. So pretty. And this was a No Fail Friday Night Live layout. So I was looking through a Close to My Heart catalog and I saw this awesome paper heart design and I'm like, ooh, I want to recreate that. So I did that using the papers on this kit. And so I've got, I took the like word search paper from the Sunny Days collection, cut it all up, and I will make sure, um, I will link the, the, the Friday Night Live playlist here um, so you guys can access those videos if you want um, to go watch them. But yeah, so we I, we put the heart together and then literally just another DIY embellishment. I really made a point to use a lot of these and I did and I was so excited. So a few more butterflies, some puffy hearts, and this one came out so good with the help of the group on the live video. It was so fun to create. They were so awesome. So. I'm really thrilled with the way this came out all together. So very, very pretty. All right, and last layout from the kit. This was a large um, photo. And so I believe this was a no fail Friday as well, if I remember correctly. Yes. Um, and so I did a, a large photo print black and white from uh, my husband and I our wedding and then I clustered some florals all at the bottom got some gold vellum in here some rub-ons on here I just think this came out so beautiful it documented it so nicely love the colors just love everything about this layout so so pretty so that is all the layouts I created with that kit. How awesome is that? And yes, I do have some supplies left, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to de-stash them and then put them in and I'll, and I'll continue to chip away through them. And then, you know, um, I go to create another kit next year for spring or summer. I'll probably grab more of those bits and pieces again. The whole point of is it to challenge yourself and to work through as much product as you can until you get to a point where you just don't feel like you can anymore. Or you've kind of killed the kit and that's kind of where I'm at with this kit but I think I've gotten a lot accomplished, which I'm so thrilled about. All right, so next we're gonna to move to the rest of the layouts that I've created since last share, which I think was about May. So here's the other part. Okay, so I absolutely love this layout. So this was created from the Wonder Collection from Close to My Heart, which is a kind of adventure travel collection, uh, like hiking and camping, kind of outdoorsy. Um, and I, I got their, they get, they have like these kits that you can buy, which they have pre-made layouts and cut-aparts, and you can follow the instructions. Well, I usually never follow the instructions. I just like all the pieces and, and embellishments that come with it. 
So I was looking through and trying to figure out how, you know, what layout am I going to create with this stuff. And so it had a globe in there. So I was like, I, I saw that and then I saw this background paper and I immediately thought space. I'm like, oh my god, this is perfect. So I ended up creating a space theme layout and I just think it came out so stinking cute, you guys. I just love it. So I've used some tiny alphas and this is pictures of my son when he dressed up as Buzz Lightyear for Chris, uh, Halloween, not Christmas. My goodness, I'm all over the place tonight. For Halloween, <laughs> although he probably would dress up for Christmas too, you know, he's four. Um, and then I took the Wonder letters, cut them out. Um, it was actually called Wander, and then I, I turned it into Wonder, right? So Space Wonder. Just changed it up a little bit. And then just a couple other little embellishments, some acrylic stars, and you have this adorable space layout. And I just, it's got to be one of my favorites so far to date. Love it, love it. And I think this is a runner-up for a favorite layout, too. So I did another large print, um, and I documented our trip to the botanical gardens to see the, the, wood, the wood gnomes or trolls. Tr yeah, they're called trolls. Tree trolls. Yeah, not gnomes. Trolls. Um, and so I took up half the layout with this large format print, and then I did some other smaller ones to document the rest of the layout. Simple title, some wood grain paper, but it's so impactful and just so beautiful. I love it. Love how it came out. I'm really enjoying large format printing and, and documenting. I'm going to have to continue to do more of that. And this layout just makes me laugh, um, makes me smile. <laughs> so this was a Friday, a no fail Friday night and I took a very busy like background paper which is like some tropical leaves. I think it was from an Echo Park paper pad collection. And I did a grid design, and these are photos that are capturing a day we went to a, a, a local zoo slash theme park, or animal park slash theme park here, close to us. And at the point, we were about halfway through the animal park, and my mom snapped a photo of Wyatt, and then she turned around and she showed him this picture, and said, look, it's a photo of you, Wyatt. And he just died laughing and as you can see like <laughs> in the photos he was cracking up so hard he almost fell over a couple times he was laughing hysterically just hilarious and the and my nephews were laughing as well we were just having a grand old time and he's like do it again do it again so he kept taking pictures and different animals would pop up and they literally thought they were being changed into animals it was so hilarious and like I just every time I look at this that memory pops into my head it was so funny it's just one of those that stick out at you and so I think I captured that pretty well in this layout it was a lot of photos that I wanted to document and a grid layout is a really great way to do that so the pattern paper kind of gives it that jungly like animal vibe and uh, I've used some older um, puffy stickers some tropical floral ephemera and I think this came out really cute I just love the fact that like I've got this documented and so I do plan on adding like probably a 6 by 12 um, uh, lay a uh, sheet protector with journaling telling the story when I put this in the album so I have it journaled because it's quite a bit so I wanted to make sure you could kind of read the story in tandem with looking at the pictures so super cute layout it was really fun to make and it's such a great story all right so here's another fun layout so this was some mixed media with uh just layering some frames and other pieces from my stash documenting my son um playing around on my father's boat when we went to visit um which you know he's a boy he likes all that sort of stuff and my dad doesn't mind uh entertaining them for a period of time so a sweet moment that i feel like i captured pretty well really simple techniques but I think it came out really cute. All right, so these are some older ones. Um, again, just busting through my stash here, I created a 9 by 12 layout. Um, so this will actually go in the album like this, um, but I did create it horizontally. So I've just got some wood veneer here. I've used a lot of it on this layout, and just some cute photos of Wyatt on the playground and a wood veneer title play outdoors. Very simple, but I love how it came out. 
this was another no fail, no fail Friday night. So we were we were using the sketch for I think this might have been June sketch if I remember from the Jessica Grace and Friends Pretty Pages Facebook group, um, and it was a grid design. It had circles, and so instead of using the circles, I decided to use some of his PJ Mask puffy stickers, which is not something I would typically use, but I pick them up whenever he's into something like that, thinking I'll incorporate them into like a project life or, you know, a little tidbit here or there um, when I'm documenting, you know, his childhood and memories. Um, and so this time I went a little bit beyond that and made kind of a grid design with those um, PJ Mask stickers and documented him being Catboy last year for Halloween. And I think it came out really cute. Some mixed media splatters um, and just a sweet, sweet documented moment uh, with all his favorite things, which is my favorite part. And here is another take on that grid design sketch. And this time it's Mickey themed, Disney themed. And so as you can see, we have kind of the grid, grid pattern um, repeated throughout the page. And then we've got this beautiful large die cut um, Mickey title from I did from my silhouette. And then this sweet photo of my son snuggled in our bed with all of his Mickeys that he has. And I just love this layout. It couldn't have been any more perfect for the moment. So cute. All right, here was another No Fail Friday night, and this was, we did a cut file from the silhouette, a little bit of mixed media, and we documented a day at the beach. So I did some really cute photos of Wyatt looking like a goober in his um, snorkel mask and his arm floaties. Um, some cute die cut images from the silhouette. We put through, uh, put together this, this beach cut file and I did a little bit of extra on the sun just to give it some interest and then some mixed medium background to make it look like the ocean. I think it came out really cute. <sighs> Alright, I love this layout and it, I used a collection that I've been hoarding for the longest time, not knowing when the right moment would come about to document this, right? So this is called A Case of the Blahs. And I think it's a pink fresh collection if I remember correctly. And my husband snapped this photo of my son. He was sad, um, I think because his sister wouldn't play with him. And he decided to write on the board his feelings. And as you can see, he, he doesn't know how to spell yet. So he's just writing out his feelings. And he ha yes, it does say the word poop there. Um, he did not, I don't think, obviously he didn't realize he wrote that. <laughs> but we have it captured in the moment. So I took frames from that collection, all the different stickers, you know, oh my days, what the what, I'm doing this for me, not cool, bummer, blah, like all perfect words to go with this moment. And then on the lower half, I took the font, uh, thickers that I, I don't really care for it actually, but I held on to them because they matched the collection. And I essentially in the middle here copied what he wrote on the dry erase board and that is intentional. I did intentionally put the word poop in there. Um, just so you know. Because <laughs> I wanted to document the moment. And then I filled in the, on the outside all the other letters. And I think this came out so cute. It's documenting a, a very real moment in his life where he was expressing himself and writing out his feelings. And uh, again, I plan on journaling about this. And I'll probably do um, another 6x12 on the side in the album so I can make sure that... Um, it's, you know, the story is right here as you're looking through and you can read it. But I just think came out so cute and I was so excited that I was finally able to dig into that collection. All right, this here was a Twisted Sisters layout. So I used um, one of the Close to My Heart collection and I'm honestly can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I apologize. But uh, it, had, it was lemon, a lemon themed collection. And I actually took the lemon slices and turned them into flowers, uh, which was my twist. So I created these really adorable flowers and I documented my stepdaughter picking daisies in a field and I think it came out cute. You know, it just goes to show you to look at your product a little differently with a little bit of a different lens and you never know what you're going to be able to create. Oh, 
And this is one last No Fail Friday night. Again, another one of my favorites. I think it came out so cute. Um, and so it was uh, obviously 4th of July themed here. We did this in July. And uh, I've got some Star Spangled Paper in the back. Pulled that out for my stash. Did some die cut red, white, and blue hearts. And then lots of red, white, and blue rosettes I created. And I had this cut file for ever a few years now again just waiting for the right moment to use it purchased it at a convention a while back or my mom may have too I don't recall but I was so excited that I was able to use it so we layered the the cut file title on top of the rosettes and I just think this came out so cute so so cute so again that's another no fail Friday and that is it so wowzers a lot of layouts. I made up some good ground over the last uh, month or so, really trying to hammer through that DIY kit. So I have lots of layouts now to put away in albums. I hope I've inspired you. Again, I'll put links below to the to the No Fail Fridays, so you can w go back and watch those if you if you desire. Um, I again, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's inspiring, and maybe you'll. Uh, do some scrap lifting. If you do, make sure you go over to Jessica Grace and Friends Pretty Pages and share your layout so I can see them as well. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you again soon. Have a great night. Bye.